The federal government is seeking to harness the intellect of young tech innovators to boost e-Nara digital currency initiative. The Central Bank of Nigeria's governor, Kordini Mefile, who discussed this at the grand finale of the 2022 e-Nara hackathon, noted that the event is another milestone towards building a monetary system of the economy. Daniel Okonji completes the story. With the unveiling of the e-Naira digital currency in the last quarter of 2021, a sustainability follow-up of the initiative was expected sooner. And today, the e-Naira hackathon is aimed at harnessing innovative tech ideas from experts, all aimed at improving the CBN e-Naira. It must be acknowledged that the journey is iterative and therefore requires cutting-edge innovation to sustain the vision and act and achieve the set out policy objectives. Therefore, it is important to note that enabling private sector innovation is one of the three foundational principles of central bank digital currency. Thus, this hackathon event today is neither a coincidence nor an accident. According to experts, Nigeria is the second in the world and the first in Africa to undertake the Digital Currency Initiative, a development other countries such as Uganda are following. A lot of central banks are trying to copy what we have done in the Central Bank of Nigeria with the launch of the e-Naira um, and we've received quite a few banks on study team uh, missions. But we're not resting on our oars, we're trying to improve it, which is the reason that we did this uh, hackathon. The hackathon, um, in a simple way, it's a platform that brings entrepreneurs, coders, developers, and um, product managers together to solve problems, to create use cases, to innovate, and build new business models. With the aim of ensuring that the project lives on, with deepened acceptability from Nigerians, 5,000 competitor experts were pooled and 75 teams made the semi-finals and today 20 teams are here to compete back to back with 10 expected to be celebrated from Abuja, Daniel Okonji, Silverbird News 24.